What's going on YouTube? I am back with another video and in this one we have something a little bit different today. So uh, something that I've never done on the channel before and honestly something that I have never seen from any other sports card related YouTubers and that is uh, talk about how much money that I actually make from YouTube. So I've seen a lot of other content creators make these types of videos but as far as you know, sports card, YouTubers, whatever you wanna call them, I have not really seen anyone else in the hobby do this type of video. So I'm gonna, here in a second, I have my computer down here. Uh, so I'm gonna pull up my YouTube and show you guys exactly how much money I made last year in 2021. I'm going to be 100% uh, completely transparent, show you guys, you know, how much money I made in 2021. So real quick, before we do get into it, I just wanna say that I'm not trying to brag in any way. Uh, you know, honestly, I could make a lot less than, you know, some people out there think I could make more. I really don't know. Uh, but again, not trying to brag in any way. Uh, I just kinda wanna talk about something a little bit different and something that I believe is very, very important. And that is having multiple streams of revenue. So in this video, again, I'm just going to talk about how much money I make on YouTube. That is not going to include a lot of other streams such as, um, you know, card grading, uh, the fire packs, there's affiliate links on my videos, there's sponsorships. So there's a lot of other streams of revenue as well as, you know, a lot of people, I guess a lot of people know, a lot of people don't know, but I do also have a full-time job as well. That's definitely the number one source of income for myself. Uh, but honestly, you know, with all those other streams of income, if I were to lose or quit or whatever happens, if I were to, you know, lose my full-time job, it would definitely hurt, but I would be okay. So I think, you know, if, if you take away anything from this video, it is just to you know, create for yourself multiple income streams. I think that is extremely, extremely important. Something that I don't think they really teach a lot of in school. Uh, I know I didn't, you know, learn about multiple income streams and the importance of that in school. So if you take anything away from this video, I want it to be that. So uh, with all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and start the screen recording on my computer. So if you see me looking down the whole video, that's kind of what I'm looking at. So I'm gonna put that up on the screen so you guys are gonna see what I'm looking at as well. So let's go ahead and get into it. This is my YouTube Creator Studio. So as you can see, we're gonna be looking at a lot of analytics. So currently we are at 21,586 subscribers. Um, it shows you, you know, a real, real quick summary of the last 28 days. So over 112,000 views on the channel. Watch time hours is 11,000 and estimated revenue, just over $1,000 in the last 28 days, which I will say you guys are gonna see that's a little bit down from the normal. Um, you know, what I make typically in about a month. So let's go over here and go to analytics. And this is gonna bring up all of our channel analytics. It's gonna be talking about views, watch time hours, subscribers, and then your estimated revenue. So what we care about in this video is revenue. So let's go over here and click on a revenue. And you know, again, there are a lot of different content creators who have put out videos like this. So if you wanna go more in depth, there is really a lot that goes into what YouTube actually pays you. Um, and I'm honestly not an expert. I'm not gonna go super in detail into, you know, how YouTube and Google determine what you actually get paid. Real quick, this page is just gonna show you, uh, again, the last 28 days on your channel. So estimated revenue, $1,037. And then I do wanna talk real quick about the playback CPM right here. This is very, very important as to, you know, kinda uh, why you make what you make. So my channel in particular is usually somewhere between 10 and $15. And basically this is how much you make per thousand views on the channel. So, uh, you know, if I put out a video and it gets 10,000 views and I am making, you know, $15 is, is my C CPM, uh, that video is gonna make me about $150. So that is very, very important. Um, honestly, between 10 to 15 on the CPM is pretty good. I know um, on the low end, I believe like the vlogging channels do 
I don't think they do super great. I think they're usually below $10. And then some of the financial channels, like, you know, you guys might be familiar with Graham Stephan or Andre Jick. Uh, I've seen their, the financial channel CPMs as high as like 40 or $50, which is absolutely crazy, considering those guys in particular are getting millions and millions of views. So they are doing very, very well from YouTube. Uh, but I'm definitely happy with 10 to 15 on the CPM. Again, uh, you know, a really, really good performing video for me would be, again, about 10,000 views. So at about $15 CPM, I'm gonna be making on that particular video, about $150. So um, let's go ahead and change this real quick. Instead of the last 28 days, we will take a look at last year, which was 2021. So as you can see, I made in total $15,601.20. So uh, just over $1,000 per month. If you divide that by 12, it comes out to right around $1,300 per month. So definitely, definitely a nice side hustle. Now, again, there's a lot that also goes into these videos being in the sports card hobby. You're buying a lot of boxes. There's a lot of fees that go into that, but that does help uh, you know recoup a lot of that. And some videos in particular, like, you know, this one is not costing me anything. So whatever I do make on this video is just gonna be pure revenue, uh, pure profit, I guess you could say. Uh, but you, you can kind of see it, it definitely does fluctuate. March was a really, really hot time in the hobby. Um, and, you know, looking at some of those videos, if you think back to what was going on in March of 2021, that was probably the biggest Dallas show that had ever happened. I did go to Dallas. Uh, I did go to Dallas in March of 2021, and those were some of my best videos. So, as you can see, my best video or my best day in all of 2021 was actually March 17th, and that was actually one of those Dallas videos. So, um, again. $155 on that particular day was the best day in all of 2021. And it really just ranges, you know, if I'm put, not putting out a lot of videos, it can go down to maybe around $10 per day. And then, you know, kind of fluctuates anywhere from like 10 to $100 on, you know, what videos I'm putting out at the time. So really kind of all over the place. Uh, as you can see, kind of jump back up. I think this was right around the national. So went back up to about $100 a day, a little bit over. And then towards the end of the year, it started doing a little bit better as well because a lot of companies are paying a lot more for advertising as well. So that's something to think about as well. Um, so we can scroll down and kind of take a look at the monthly breakdown. So August was a really good month at 1600, had another couple really good months at the end of the year, again, November, December. I was putting out a lot of videos, but also advertisers were paying a lot more for those ads. And then if we want to take a look at some of the top earning videos as well. So $400, I'm guessing this is that uh, Dallas card show video that I just mentioned on March, I believe it was 21st, where I did make $155 on that one day. So the top earning videos for 2021 was the Dallas card show, March 2021 day two video. I made $409 on that video, which is pretty crazy. And then the second, uh, second and third best uh, videos in 2021 were both HGA videos. Um, throwback to when I was talking about HGA, I was probably the first person to review HGA and those videos did very, very well. And then we had the biggest select football retail rip. I think I ripped like just a crazy amount of select football cello packs. And that was also when I did pull a 101. So if you do have really, really big pulls, that certainly helps out the video as well, obviously. And then the last video I did want to mention that did really well in 2021 was also in Dallas. So I believe that was the day one video down here. Dallas card show. Yep. Day one. So that one made 197. And that also kind of just goes to show you how much the thumbnail matters because the day two video, pretty much the only difference between that day one and day two video was I had four black label Zions on the thumbnail of day two, which was just a quick clip in the video. And you know, that one did double what the other one did. So uh, there's a, again, a ton of stuff that goes into you know, how well your video is gonna perform and how much you actually get paid. There's a lot of other videos out there if you guys are more interested in that. Uh, but that is gonna do it for 2021. I did also just real quick wanna show you the entire lifetime of my channel. 
I think this might be interesting to show as well. So we can go up here to lifetime and then you can see that for the entire life of my channel, I have made over $25,000 and I have been doing this since November 12th of 2018. And another thing that I did wanna to touch on, you know, while I do have the lifetime of the channel view up, is that it actually took me from November 12th, 2018, you can see I made $0 per day all the way until August of 2019. So almost an entire year of absolutely nothing. So, you know, a lot of people don't really realize how much of a grind it is, especially starting out. I believe the requirements to actually monetize your channel are that you have to have over a thousand subscribers and then you have to have 4,000 hours of watch time. I'm not exactly sure on that. You guys can definitely Google that information, uh, but I believe it's over a thousand subscribers and then 4,000 hours of watch time. Once you get that, you can actually monetize your channel. And um, one thing that people think uh, really matters is how many subscribers you have is, you know, kind of determines how much money you make. That is not true at all. You know, once you're able to monetize, once you're able to monetize your channel, you can have a thousand subscribers. And if you have a viral video that does a million views, the views are the only thing that really matters. Um, and, and again, there's a lot of other criteria, you know, the length of the video, how many ads are on the video. But if you have a thousand subscribers and you're able to monetize your videos and you have a viral video, you are going to likely make a lot of money from that video. Um, so, so I guess really what I'm trying to say is if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, I would say just go for it. Um, really, you know, the only thing you need is a phone. Everyone has a phone. Just hit record, start putting out some content and see what happens. Um, you know, again, as you can see from my channel, it is a grind. It is likely going to take some time, <clears throat> excuse me, before you do actually make some money and see some uh, returns. But if you really, really do enjoy uh, doing it like I do, um, you know, it's definitely worth it. Uh, I never dreamed that I would be over 20,000 subscribers and actually make money from my channel. Uh, but here we are. And again, I really, really do enjoy it. Don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Have some even bigger goals for 2022. Hopefully we can, you know, see even bigger, crazier numbers in 2022. So I want to go ahead and wrap it up here. And I do want to leave you guys with just a couple takeaways from the video. Hopefully number one, uh, the number one takeaway, again, I just want to stress the importance of multiple streams of income. Uh, it's something that I was never really taught growing up, uh, but something that I have definitely learned the importance of. And, um, you know, I didn't really start my YouTube channel with the intention of making money again, but it just sort of happened. And a bunch of other revenue streams have come from that. Uh, so it's definitely been a blessing. I want to give a huge, huge thank you to everyone who does support the channel. And then another takeaway is uh, if you are thinking about starting a YouTube channel, just go for it. Again, everyone has a phone. There's really no barriers of entry. All you have to do is hit record, start putting out some content. And um, really, if you are able to provide some type of knowledge or entertainment, that is all you really need and you can start making money on YouTube. Uh, my, you know, again, my main tips either you know provide something to the audience whether that's knowledge or entertainment and then just be consistent it is going to be a grind before you eventually do see some returns but just stick with it and um yeah i guess i want to go ahead and wrap it up here i hope you guys did enjoy um if you want to see you know more of these types of videos maybe if i have a big month we can do this again in the future i don't know uh, i just thought this was something different something that i haven't really seen from anyone else in the hobby so uh, again, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you soon.